Hi, and welcome to Projects and Things. My name's Eve. In this episode, we're going to make a few space discovering robots from trash. I'm going to be able to do a workshop for kids in the very near future, and I'm very excited about it, in a big technology museum. Um, and what we're going to make there is these guys. And it's a bunch of space discovering robots, and each kid is going to get to make their own. So they're essentially made from trash, things you don't need anymore. In my case, I found old scrap pieces of wood from projects. I had eyelets, I had plastic tubes from uh, old power stuff that was in my house, um, uh, pieces of an iPhone, copper wire, screws, glue, paint, just a bucket worth of scrap, just, just any kind of thing that you have laying around. Anything can become a robot piece. In this video, I'm going to show you how I made this little guy. I wanted my robot to have um, Ribsbanden? What's ribsbanden in English? Um, the track things that a tank has. So I wanted mine to have that. So I took an old piece from the kids' bed that I used a few weeks ago and I cut it into a ribsband shape and used the bandsaw to cut a few lines in it. Then in order to give the effect of wheels, I took a round dowel and cut thin slices out of the dowel and glued them on. The main body was cut from a piece of old chair. His neck is a plastic sheath for a power supply. The head is made from a simple piece of pine. I cut the corners off and gave it a good sanding in order to take off all the sharp edges. And then I decided to cute him. Cute. And then I decided to make him a tiny bit cuter. Um, he got eyes. The eyes were made from a piece of the plastic sheathing from power. Then some plastic eyelets that came out of an Ikea thing, I think. And then two screws. He got a smile and two antennas. One of the antenna is a piece of copper wire. The other antenna is, I think, a speaker from an old telephone. The assembly is mainly nails, because then he can swivel his head and he will keep the position that he's looking in. So there's a big nail that goes through all the way through his head, through the plastic thingy into the body, and then I hammer that down with an awl. And the side track tires were hammered in, and then I squeezed them together using my bench vise. At this point, we now have a QT Patootsie robot, which is great. But he's still mostly wood, so I'm thinking of sprucing this up with a bit of electronics. And in order to do that, I'm gonna rip apart a few of my old phones. 
Uh, one of them is a phone where the battery pack swelled up like crazy, uh, and the other one years ago got dropped on the pavement and it's uh, yeah wrecked. So um, let's time lapse this. Take these apart. One of the cool things about this is you, you can't really go wrong. The sky is the limit. Um, you you you. You know, you can let your creativity go bananas because you don't have to follow any anatomically correct models. You can make a short robot, a bit fat robot, a tall one, seven arms, uh, lasers for eyes, doesn't really matter. It's, it's up to you to make what you want, which I think is the cool thing about this. And if you think you're done, you're done. If you want to add things to it, you can. Uh, if you want to start over, you just smash it on the floor and you have pieces again to make a new one. We have Mr. Trax. There's one that got painted and you can move his arms. There's one that can climb using spider legs and he's pretty angry about something. I don't know why. Then there's one who's essentially a worker. He's holding a nut. He can move his arms, he can swivel his head. And this would be someone that let's say works in a mine somewhere out in the asteroid fields. Okay. Luister even iedereen. Mensen nodig die hier willen werken, dat is we gaan uh, een planeet maken uit piepschuim. Wie wil er planeten knutselen? 1, 2, 3, 4. Dus binnen een uurtje komt een burgemeester kijken. Niet dat dat belangrijk is, maar er, gewoon, er komt iemand kijken die je niet gaat kennen. En dat is een burgemeester van de stad. Voilà. So thank you very much for watching. If you like these things I do, then please consider subscribing. There should be a button to do so here and also off to the side here. And I think here will be videos all about making stuff. So thank you. Till next time. Bye.